Hello everyone and welcome to a very special day from Munich because I'm leaving Munich right now to go to Salzburg, Österreich, Austria. I've never been. I've been to Vienna. It was absolutely beautiful, one of the most beautiful cities I've been to. So I'm really excited to hop on a train right now and get to Salzburg. It's literally like an hour and a half away from here. Let's go to the station. So I don't actually know if it's going to be like this in Salzburg, but on Sundays in München it is very quiet. There's, there's no one here. The whole time. Look at this, there's a beautiful castle. Just castle church. No one's around to look at it because it's Sunday. Sunday, y'all just stay home, make some dinner. Flight 10 is like a full on kilometer away. It's a half kilometer away. It's not too bad. And we've made it. I feel like I'm going to freaking Hogwarts here. Platform 10 minus one quarter. It's basically the same one. Come on. Alright y'all, so I've now made it to Salzburg, a city full of culture and history. We didn't know it's right on the border of Bavaria and Austria, it's like right there. The birthplace of Mozart and the sound of music. I honestly, I think I've seen that film once when I was like a kid. I don't remember much of it, but it was here. There's like really pretty parks I'm just walking by right now. My first step on this journey is going to be to get a nice cup of coffee to wake up a bit. I mean, Austria is known for its coffee houses, mostly Viennese, but still, let me get some good coffee. Tip for if you're traveling alone, invest in an iPhone tripod. I don't have one, so I've been balancing my iPhone on my backpack and my wallet and this camera just to try and get this shot I just took. It's all right, it took me like 15 minutes to set up. I tried to get someone to help me take it. Uh, it didn't really look good. You know when you're on traveling all alone and you're like, can you take this photo please? And they're like, yeah, and their thumbs in the shot. That's what happened. Anyway, this is absolutely beautiful. Haven't even made it to the coffee place yet. Kind of enjoying these gardens. Still making my way to the cafe shop, but I mean, I literally just passed Mozart's house. That, that's, that's Mozart's house. There's also a giant church. What a nice house. I just turned another corner, and then Ed Sheeran starts playing because there's an actual castle on the hill. What, like, what the actual heckity heck? This place is so crazy. I definitely need to get up there. This place is so insanely pretty. Look, oh my gosh. Now I can understand the sounds of music, right? Sound of music makes sense. It, ma it makes a lot of sense right now. All right, found myself a coffee house. Well, I ended up just getting my coffee to go because there's so much to do in this city. I don't just want to sit around in a lovely coffee shop. The, guy, the barista ended up knowing who I was. He was like, do I know you? You have a face from somewhere. And I was like, maybe YouTube. He went, Evan? And I was like, oh man, that's so cool. I'm in like Salzburg. He kept speaking English to me though and I kept speaking German and I was like, speak German to me. Uh, but yeah, that's really cool. Time when I visit places like this, I do a lot of googling and searching to see what other people have done. In this area, I'm just kind of exploring Salzburg and making my own decisions. Still so far to climb to get to that. And there's the sun. If you want to, there is a cable car that takes you all the way to the top, but it's freer, better exercise. Walk up the huge amount of stairs. Let's look, it's shaded now. Not so bad. Wow. So I finally made it in. I just had to buy this little ticket worth only 10 euros, but now I can finally go in and explore. So the cool thing about this fortress is that they offer an audio tour, which means I can do it in German. All right, I'll reason I'm here. Uh, my, my listening comprehension is always the worst part of my learning, so uh, time to practice. Oh, the cool thing about this place, which I don't know if you've noticed, it's not really that tourist heavy. Like, look at this. There, there's, there's like one group right down there, and other than me, it's really nice. I feel like I've got this whole place to myself. Can I cannot get over this clock? Look at that thing. That looks so cool. I don't even know how that thing works. Coming to 
Salzburg, I'd highly recommend visiting the Hohenzollsberg uh, Fortress. I mean, it's hard to miss. It's the big fortress on top of the mountain. Absolutely beautiful here. The sights are kind of like, it's very shown, all right? I've shown you around, shown you around, ha. Huh. Uh, but yeah, if you're in Salzburg, I mean, I don't know what else to do. I'm just glad I got the chance to uh, visit this place. It's really nice. Now I could really use some food. All right, that big climb has worked up quite an appetite in me, so it's time to find a nice Austrian restaurant. I was trying to find a good one online, I think. <laughs> and here it is. A nice Austrian looking guest house. Well, it is a slow Sunday. This uh, place isn't open. I've got to find some place to eat. I'm so hungry. I've been eating a lot of Wiener Schnitzel at my own home. Home cooked, obviously not probably the best, but I am really curious to try some Käse Spätzle. A lot of my friends have told me, you got to try it. All right, I'm excited. Let me just find a place that serves it. Willkommen in die Geldgasse. Reminds me a little bit of uh, the Winkelgasse from uh, Harry Potter. I can't find the Käse Spätzle. Do they even have Kaiser Spetzel? How does he Kaiser Spetzel? Nine. Well, so I've not really had the best of luck finding the Kaiser Spetzel. I still haven't eaten yet. I, I literally want that so bad. I've got my, my mouth ready for the, whatever this tastes like. I'm now walking down one of the main shopping streets in the city of Salzburg to find a place that serves Kaiser Spetzel. I've been Googling it. I can't find anything. I even asked the guy. He said, eh. Thanks, man. Where can I find Kaiser Spetzel? All right, so my friend Gabby loves Salzburg, so I messaged her to be like, where the heck did you get some Kaiser Spetzel? It's not necessarily a thing from this specific area, but it's just something I really want right now. So, turns out there's a, there's a restaurant about 10 minute walk away. So I'm gonna continue walking through this really nice, like Oxford Street of uh, Salzburg, and then get some food. Finally, I'm so hungry. <laughs> So this is where Mozart was born, right? Right there. Cool. This street is literally exactly what I imagined Winkelgasse to look like. It's just, this is Diagon Alley. This is how it is. So on my way to the place that Gabby recommended, I found a place that definitely has Kaiser Spetzel, but it looks like one of those touristy trap ones. So I'm just gonna keep going until maybe if the other one doesn't have it, I'm gonna come back to this. And it's long last, I've made it to Zinkelvert. I know I'm pronouncing that st stupidly. It should be Turkelvert. Das ist richtig, ja. What a lovely little place. Lovely. My phone is dying and I forgot to bring a battery, so I hope this works. Haben Sie kein Käsespätzle? Oh, ein Käsespätzle und Augustine Breu, ein Weißbier. Weißbier, ja. Ist das nicht ein Speisepfeffer? Ja. Danke. Bitte. It worked. I couldn't find it on the menu. There it was. All good. Käsespätzle on the way. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Käsespätzle. Also came with some salad. But the cage is spits. It's basically like mac and cheese, but Austrian. I'm so excited. Moment of truth. It is like mac and cheese. But nice. Well, that was definitely worth it. The Kaiser Spetzel was delicious. I'm so full right now. I guess the only thing I really want to do now is probably just go to the park and read some Harry Potter. Uh, honestly, there's some other things I probably could do in the old city, just walk around. But uh, I'll just look at the sunset. Sun setting in about probably like an hour and a half. This building is definitely bent at some point, right? I'm not crazy. This thing is like warped in a way. And here we see the buildings are just built into a rock face. Crazy. Visit Salzburg. It's beautiful. If you've got to come, I don't, I don't care why. Just it, it, it's a great place. You got to come. Oh, ten out of ten. Sometimes there's just so much to take in. It's hard to take in everything that you're experiencing at once because you you constantly feel like this is pretty. I want to remember this and this and this and this. And there's like an overload of how much you want to remember the experience. But as something I learned from my recent therapy, I need to try and just be. So I'm going to turn off my devices for the next like hour. Just experience being in Salzburg. It's really pretty. Day could have gone any better. What a beautiful evening, a beautiful sunset in Salzburg. It's now time for me to head back to Hauptbahnhof to get to a train back to München. Bye Salzburg. You've been beautiful. Let's get on the train. All right, show me the München. Give, give, give me that München. Alright, so I've made it back. Alright, 
I am I am very exhausted. Salzburg, it was a good time. I very much enjoyed it. 10 out of 10 would do it again. Thank you very much for watching today's video of my trip to Salzburg. It was really fun. I think you should go. Why not? YOLO swag. I'm now going to probably just sleep for 12 hours and then I've got class in the morning. So thanks for watching. Give it a big old thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed the travel vlog. I've got other videos here to watch if you like outros. If you don't, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.